Hey everyone, so today I'm just going to be doing basics of nails. So I'm going to show you um, what you need for mainly um, most nail designs. And I'm going to show you how you are going to paint your nails. Like how to make it look the best and dry fast. And yeah, okay, so let's get started with that. So... You will need, of course, nail polish. This is Essie's um, In the Cabana. So, I guess kind of like In the Cabana. And you will need, of course, a base coat and a top coat. So, this is a base coat. I use um, Hard as Nails, and it makes your nails really strong. But, because mine get really weak because of gymnastics the chalk it gets into your nails and makes them split you know how people get split ends on your hair well i get split nails so yeah and the top coat i use sally hansen's dry distantly and this makes it dry faster and it gives it a great shine and makes your nails last longer and you always want to use a top coat and base coat because it makes your um, design last longer, and also, the base coat protects your natural nail, so it gets stronger, and you're not just painting on your n nail, so. And a striper is always great. This, this is a striper. It's a very thin brush. And you use that to make very thin lines, and it's much, like, you use this for, um, if you want to do, like, a French manicure. So, yeah, and a dotting tool is always helpful to make perfect dots. Um, you can find this, uh, Ulta, eBay, and Five Below. Those are the places I know that sell them. This I got off of eBay, but they had the exact same ones at... Um, Ulta, I got a set of five in all different sizes, big, like, as big as, like, I don't know, half a centimeter to as small as, like, uh, like, a few millimeters, I guess. So this is how small that dot is. And the other side, I think, is smaller. Okay. So, yeah, and the striper, I found this at Beauty Plus Salon, but you could get them at Five Below. Um, I haven't seen them anywhere else, but you could also get them online. And then the base coats, you could get from any food store, drug store, everywhere sells them. Nail polish, again, tons of places sell them. And so uh, now you will let... You sh would like to have um, something to easily remove or clean up around the edges of your nail polish. So I just use these pointy Q-tips because they are very good for getting on your cuticles. Because you don't want to paint on your cuticles. And um, to remove that, I use non-acetone nail polish remover this you just open up and push down and it comes out if you've ever seen that I like a nail salon and this is also very helpful it's um nail enamel, enamel dryer you just spray this shake it and spray it on your design like far away from it and then it makes it last longer makes it dry faster and yeah I got this at five below for three dollars you can I've seen them at Wegmans for um for three dollars and stop and shop and tons of places sell it drugstores um yeah if you've ever seen this at the nail salon they have that and okay that's just the basic materials and also you want to work on a, a towel or something, paper, something you don't mind getting dirty because you don't want to be working on, like, your parents' nice granite 
uh, countertops and you're, you spill nail polish on them. You don't want to be working on your rug because then the nail polish could spill and stain it. So yeah, and that's just basically everything. Okay, so let's get started with uh, basic nail painting. So I'm going to be starting by applying a base coat. Just brushing on lightly and getting very close to the cuticles. And you do that to all your nails, but I'm just doing a demonstration on one. And let that dry. So when you do that to all your nails and they dry, we're going to be putting on our nail polish. So how you do this is we just take it and we like, you want to be, you want to put on a thin first coat. So see that? See that? Very thin. And now what we do is we brush on a very thin coat and we don't want to be getting our nail polish on the cuticles because then it's going to be look sloppy and it won't look very finished and professional and we always want to do two coats because one coat ain't gonna cut it. So that's just my first coat. See how ugly that is? But we just, but the first coat, it doesn't really matter how ugly it is because the second coat is going to complete it. So we just let that dry and then we put on, we do that to all the nails and by the time we get back to the other hand, it'll be dry and we will be able to apply the next coat. Okay, now time for the second coat. We still apply it thin, but we do just kind of short and quick strokes, getting it very close to the cuticle, but not on it. And one other thing, you never want to cut your cuticles because then you're going to get all those like little peely things. I have those because I got my nails done and she cut my cuticles and that's what happens. But my cuticles were great before. Okay, so here's a scenario of, oh no, I got my nail polish on my cuticles. We just take the Q-tip, the pointy Q-tip or that wooden stick and we just remove it. Because sometimes the nail polish will spread Okay, so I finished painting the nail and I know it doesn't look good, but that's because I'm doing this through the camera and it's a bit difficult, but when I paint these um, normally and do designs and stuff, I take my time. With this I'm just kind of rushing through, but what I told you is how you get the neat nails. Now for the top coat, we kind of want to put it on thick so I do it thick so the nail design does not smudge but you know since we don't have a design it doesn't really matter so I just put it on pretty thick and there we go And we just let that dry, and that's how you paint perfect nails. I know mine aren't perfect, because I definitely was rushing, just trying to show you guys. So, um, But when I do my nail tutorials, I already have the base coat, and um, my nails will be painted, and I'll just show you the design. So, yeah, okay. So, I hope you guys liked my first nail tutorial, and again, I'm really sorry that this does not look good. It just... The side. There we go. <laughs> okay, but anyways, thank you for watching. Um, you guys have been requesting nails a lot. 
I'll show you guys pictures of the nail designs I have done. So yeah, okay. Um, thanks for watching. Bye guys.